hi everybody welcome to an exciting and new tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to make a morning slipper yeah very comfy and nice and gorgeous looking i'll be making use of ankara fabric to do this please if you're new to my channel stick around watch this video to the end you're going to enjoy the ride and also recommend this channel to your friends like this video and subscribe okay now moving forward i have the materials i've been needing for this tutorial i have the leather for the sole of this slipper i have a very soft breast pad i have ankara fabric i have an interfacing i have my scissors my tape and a chalk now i also have a pair of old slipper that i have and that is the shape of the slipper that i want to make and i'm going to be making use of that now that i've laid all of my pieces there all of the materials i've been needing we are going to jump straight into the video so first of all what i'll do is i'll take my slipper i'll place it on my fabric on the ankara fabric and i'm going to draw out that shape now after drawing out that shape i'm going to use that same shape to cut out the facing for the ankara to cut out the the breast pad that is the part i'll be using and also for the sole of the slipper the leather also i'm going to also be cutting it out so that's what i'm going to be doing So all of the pieces have been cut out, next is to cut out the interfacing and to do that you need to take the shape of the sleeper, place it on your interfacing and cut out the exact shape and also iron it on the um, sleeper. So what you need to do is to iron the interfacing at the wrong side of your main sleeper pattern and the essence of this is just to give you some stability, the interlining is not that strong, it is not that strong is a very soft one so it's just to make it uh, have some stability 
next we are going to have a cover for the sleeper and to do that you need a piece of fabric the length is um six inch and the width will be eight inches so this is going to be the covering for the front of the sleeper you would be needing four pieces for this covering now you'll be needing two pairs for each of the leg of the sleeper so in total you'll be needing for two for each of the leg so for this like i said the length will be eight six inches and the width is um eight inches so i'm just here i folded it into two just so that when i cover the curve the shape of the front um the all the patterns they all have the same shape together so i don't i've i folded my fabric into two and i used my chalk to just draw down the curve that i need on the front piece and i'll use the scissors to cut out that curve now after cutting out that curve you're going to take this sample and also place it on the part that you've been using to place in front of the slipper to also cut out the same shape so i'll take this um fabric and place it on my part and cut out the same shape so for the part i'm not going to be cutting four piece i'll be cutting two piece the reason why i cut two four piece for my front cover is one is going to be for the main fabric and the other one is going to be for the lining just to cover where you place the fabric and the pad you have something to cover it underneath so that is the essence of cutting two piece of the fabric for each of the leg so like i said for the um padding you only need two piece for each for one of the legs so one of the legs is going to take one the other leg is going to take one now after cutting you place the padded underneath in between each of the fabric and you're going to take it to your sewing machine and just hold this piece together so you are sewing the three of them the three edges three layers together you are sewing the fabric the lining and also the padding for each of the legs so i'll do that and i also took the liberty to also run some designs on my Okay, so I'm done sewing the edges and I went ahead to add a little bit of design on my pattern just so that I give it some uniqueness. So I went ahead to just add a design of my name on the slipper. So you can decide to do whatever kind of design you like. It's fine. Uh, whatever thing that comes to your mind, go, go ahead and do it. So, I decided to put my name on this just so that everybody that sees the slippers will know it's my <laughs> I'm just kidding well I just felt it might look good and I decided to put that design on so like I say you can decide to go ahead and make whatever kind of design that you deem fit next up I'm going to cut out bias strip and this bias strip is going to be used to conceal the other side that is this the straight side of those front um cover for the sleeper so i'll cut out two of this bias strip one for each of the leg of the sleeper i'm going to use it to um conceal the the straight part of the sleeper so i'll just take it to the sewing machine and show you how i do that okay
so now that i'm done doing my design on my slipper front i'm going to take it and i'm going to go and join it to the bottom now to do that i joined i already pinned down the front that is the side with the ankara i placed the baiting under it that is the wording and also the sole of the slipper i placed them all together and i pinned them down so i'll take the front cover of the slipper and i'm going to go and attach it and in order for you to do that i would recommend you could just hold it down with a pin but if you're very comfortable with sewing on curves you can go ahead and just take it to your sewing machine and just sew down but <laughs> i cannot lie you know when you're trying to join two curved edges it's kind of a bit difficult and also given to the fact that I have a lot of layers here so uh, I was kind of a struggle but <laughs> I finally overcame all right so now that I have joined it I'll take it to the same machine I joined it and voila this is the outcome of all of that struggle <laughs> okay so guys don't mind me okay I've joined it and this is what it's looking like next up it's to go and conceal all of the edges and to do that I've cut out two bias strip for each of the pair for each of the leg of the slipper I'll cut out a very long bias strip and ironed it as well just so that I have two clean edges I know where I'm going to be sewing on my slipper and I also know where to turn when I'm done sewing all of all the sides of the slipper so that's what I've basically done I'm just here ironing out the bias just so that it looks perfect and all my lines come out well okay so now after that I'll go ahead and you know join conceal the edges with the bias and i'm going to show you the outcome of what it looks like after concealing it and after that we're done with the slipper and this is what it looks like so guys here it is i hope you like this video if you do please give me a giant thumbs up subscribe share my videos and recommend this channel to your friends i hope you enjoyed this if you do recreate yours please let me know in the comment section i would love to see it until i see you next time do have a lovely day and remain positive wherever you are bye